Hello, welcome to Tech Point Fundamentals YouTube channel. This is a uh, Visual Studio Tips and Tricks uh, video series. So, in this video, we will see what is the difference between fields and properties, and what we have to use. How we can encapsulate public uh, fields or variable into properties automatically. So we will see these uh, points in detail. So before continuing this video, you are requested to please subscribe this YouTube channel uh, so that you will get notification whenever I upload a new video to my YouTube channel. So as a developer, uh, if uh, you know uh, before this C sharp, in uh, we have a common practice like C plus plus, we can uh, just define a field or uh, variable public variable and we are just using those uh, variables or uh, fields directly like in this example if you see this is a user class and I have just defined two uh, fields and I am using these two fields here directly so is it a right way in OOPS programming like C sharp so this is always a bad practice to use this uh, plain fields or variables in case of uh, C sharp programming language that is pure uh, object oriented programming language. So it's violate the uh, break the uh, OOPS principle if you are trying to uh, do the this implementation. So how you can uh, remove this issue and uh, also by making sure that there will be no impact after uh, converting these fields into properties so before uh, doing this let's see what and why we have to use uh, properties because if you see in this uh, .NET framework or uh, C sharp you cannot use instance variable or fields this is an instance variable if you see we are just defining a public string type variable this is instance variable or instance field right and you cannot use this in uh, interface right and in C sharp you know that uh, most of the implementation are based on interface so you cannot use this instance variable in interface and uh, also you cannot apply any data validations logic or business logic in this in case of this instance variable right because you know in uh, in C sharp uh, data validation uh, logic are implemented on the properties you can uh, define some set of rule uh, what values should be uh, avoided while setting any uh, field or uh, variable or any property so you cannot apply any business logic or data validation rule on this instance and field variable and if you see a lot of there are a lot of uh, you methods and uh, a lot of uh, libraries which are directly works on or applied on uh, uh, properties not instance field or variable if you can see the data binding logic right they works on properties not instance field or variable so these are the common uh, example or issue with uh, this instance field and variables directly if you see the serialization and deserialization is also create a issue when you are using this type of uh, instance field directly I will give you a simple uh, example here if you see this is the Microsoft article do not declare visible instance fields this uh, we are not the oops principle right and we are just uh, going to resolve this issue because I have created instance field here in this class an external visible type has an externally visible instance field right if you see 
this is do not declare visible instance field category Microsoft dot design and breaking changes it will break a lot of places if you are doing some implementation or changes rule what is the rule the primary use of a field should be as an implementation details you can use this instance field only for implementation of logic not exposing this to external words right fields should be private or internal and should be exposed by using properties so this uh, article clearly says that you should avoid these things right always try to use properties so that if uh, there is any change in the future in business logic or data validation logic or uh, anything then you can easily apply it with the properties but not this instance field directly so how to fix this violation so to fix this issue make fields private or internal and expose it using an external visible properties so this is the issue on how we have to fix this so here if uh, for example in this case if you see there are only two properties but if in case of a real application there are thousands and uh, hundreds fields in that case how you can do that you have to go and manually uh, provide the definition for the getter and setter for each and every fields member so it will be very difficult task for uh, in each application where you have to go and uh, declare private field and against those uh, private field you have to create properties with get and set so instead of doing that you can do that very easily in visual studio so microsoft has provided very easy tool for doing that you have to just go to that properties and right click go to quick action and uh, refactoring click on that and if you see the first property encapsulate fields username and use property just click on that see it automatically creates the property and uh, here also you have to go here and just click on that properties there we go it creates public property with the same name and along with that it creates this to a uh, private property and use that for getting and setting if you run the application there is no change nothing breaks by doing that right so this is the way how you can fix this issue and uh, also please make sure that this is a very very important interview questions then why we cannot use normal uh, instance field variable in the class so i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video thank you very much